So welcome back to Shield Wall. We've got the Spearman update. You know what I really love is when a developer listens to the feedback of the community. The developer, Maxim, of Nezon Productions for Shield Wall is no different. So what we want to do here to show off the new Spearman unit is find a map where we can find narrow choke points to better use the advantages of this new unit. So what better way to do it than in the corridors of the narrow streets of Brundisium? This is a tough map, and I feel like if we're doing spearmen, we want to be Greeks. I'm gonna be Alexander the Great because he was famous for pikemen and while spears aren't pikes, they are long and pointy. Oh man, look at that. See, like you see the spearmen in the concept art. That one was gorgeous. Wow, nice butt, Alexander. Okay, so let's hire some militia here real quick, like. And then, so here we go. So a swordsman, which is an upgrade from a militia, costs 200. A hoplite, which is our elite soldiers, we finally get them, oh my god, I can't wait, is 250 gold. So this is interesting, There, this is even kind of like set up a little bit different. It's a little more intuitive, which I do appreciate. So come on boys, come with me. We're gonna, we can choose the map of the area as you can see. I like the little pop-ups and everything, but I think Alexander the Great, who was never defeated until he died, <laughs> will be a very good leader to lead us into hopefully a glorious victory. Wait, why does everybody have spears right now? Hold on a second. We start with spears? Hold the phone. Swordsman, and then there's hoplites. So my militia units are dudes with spears? These spears are amazing and they're in HD. Hello, boys. Come here. Wait, do you guys have spears too? No, they're swords. Come back, come back. We're gonna fight at our flag. Narrow choke point. Attack! Attack! Now, as long as they don't come in from the other side here and get the flank spank on, I'm, I'm gonna try to get as much gold as possible. Actually, I'm gonna need reinforcement, reinforcing militia here. <laughs> I got that guy in the head. Now, there's their general. You need a spear in your bag. Good job, boys! We, we held the line. Now, there's Vasingatorix, the Gaulish barbarian leader over there, and... We've taken our flag now. All right, we need, oh, oh, there we go. Okay, there's blue. So they're a little bit delayed, so we'll have a little bit of a, a heads up, a little bit of a, a leading advantage there. So we start out with regular spears, and from what I understand, the new spearman unit, it's longer and slower than, the, a spear's longer and slower than a sword, so spearman tries to keep distance in a fight. And I think they're most effectively used, I watched a YouTube video on them in, you know, close corridors. So these, these hallways right here, we, we could have kept it probably a little bit more narrow. And I, I love I love Alexander the Great's hat, hat. It almost looks like it's a dog. I think it's supposed to be a lion, but like <laughs> it just looks like a big fluffy doggy with like rabbit ears because of the feathers. <laughs> Which is not at all what it's supposed to be. All right, so Blue's up there defending the, cent the government house. Green's probably rebuilt his army, but had to blow a lot of gold to do it. Uh, we So Blue's probably in the best spot, even though they took their flag a little bit later, just because they probably have a little bit more gold hanging around. But I think what we're going to do is skip swordsmen altogether and go to our elite Spartans. But that'll probably happen closer to the middle of the video. And here's Testudo. I love it. So we'll take their flag away, but then... Immediately pulled back. Brave Spartans, we are. I mean, we're not Spartans, we're Macedonians, right? But I took that flag away to slow down their gold production rate. That was the idea anyway. Hopefully green and blue fight. Let's see if we do a little scouting mission here, if we can see what's going on with these guys. Where, oh, they're fighting. That's good news. Where are they fighting? Oh my goodness, this is just Christmas time. So blue's gonna win this one, it seems, but if I can capture this flag before they finish that battle, I'll be able to call in reinforcements. Oh, they came in and slightly contested it. Yes, that's very good. So green just got wiped out, but they'll be rebuilding soon. Limit of units has been reached. Let's see if they spawn. Blue's gonna take a little bit to come back. See, you gotta take advantage of these moments in time when their army is destroyed. And I need to, at the very least, take away their ability to earn gold from this flag. See, they're already running. And what I love about this is when you come over here, the ships start taking off for the port. Yeah, see, Blue's already capturing... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on, boys. I think they're capturing F, but they might be force marching it over to Charlie here. No, they're they're holding F. Okay, 
But those little bits in time is how you have to kind of like whittle down. Or rather, I guess it's more of a whittling up of your score until you can take advantage in terms of gold. Oh man, so it requires swordsmen. So I've got 539 gold. If I want the elite hoplites, I have to spend the 200 gold. It's like a tech tree. I can't just skip and get to hoplites, which is a little bit unfortunate in my case. So I've got 139 gold left over. I guess I could purchase some swordsmen, some elite swordsmen here. Then I love the differences in the uniforms. You can slightly tell their feathers on their helmets are a little bit different and their uniforms are different. I, I, I wonder if this is a cosmetic difference for, all right, Jay's being taken, which is fine. What we need to happen is blue and green to have a big battle. Alexander the Great, I feel like this is far more Alexander the Great-esque than it was when I was Leonidas leading the Spartans. And no, we could never get up to 300 Spartans, unfortunately. I think the unit cap is, what, 24? Because, like, it always felt a little weird, like, tactically retreating with Spartan. But with Alexander the Great, who was a brilliant tactician, never defeated. Of all of the Alexander the Great's battles, I always feel like the Siege of Tyre is, like, the coolest one. I wish we could have that in a video game. All right, I'm not seeing blue or green do anything. All right, blue is going to... Frederick, or Foxtrot, I guess, would be the military call out. Let's do a quick scouting mission. I wish I could tell my men to guard something, and I could have a horse and I could scout out. My flag was unguarded, but I don't know where the green army is. So unless they're attacking blue, we don't want to leave this flag open for conquest. It's time, I think, to purchase the hoplites. Now I'll need to build up a stack of gold here and then have my army fight a critical battle and most of them get wiped out so that I can replace them with elite hoplites. This is this is like a moment I've been waiting for in this game for quite a while. Now where is everybody? If the blue army's over there... Oh, green's there, but I, I don't know where blue is. I guess we could fight in front of here and then replace them with Spartans. I do have over 200 gold. Normally I would have already bought the standard bearer because he allows you to get upgrades. But I mean, new Spartan units? I mean, come on. Yeah, and you'll notice that the swordsmen carry swords and my militia carry spears. I wonder if that's the case for everybody. Come on, Vasingatorix, come fight me on my own ground. There's blue. Blue must be on a patrol route. So check that out. Militia and swordsmen both cost 15 gold, but hoplites cost 20. Oh, there they go. Okay, while they're fighting, I should be able to cap this real quick. Alexander the Great, the Great Tactician. Why are you talking with a terrible Scottish accent? I don't know. So who's the victor? It looks like blue again. Are they still fighting and leaving that flag open? You guys keep doing that. All right, this may not be the best battle to fight, but if I can take the flag, I can get... I, I called them in just so we could capture a little bit quicker. There we go. Now we're going to replace them with Spartans. Oh, look at their helmets. Yes. Yes, my elite Spartans. Destroy my enemies. <laughs> Look at that. There's no one to throw spears at because they're all dead. All right. With that bit of gold, we're buying a standard. Wait, are there? Whoa, 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 whoa. Come back. All right, boys. Take them out. So what? We will have defeated two armies. And then I need to pull back and make sure Charlie doesn't get taken by the greens when they respawn their army. But this has been quite profitable. And the elite Spartans coming down from like the Senate building is awesome. Oh, God. Wait. No, no, no. Fight. Shoot, that wasn't very good tactically. So let's see, but we're holding these steps with Spartans and then I'm refilling them, right? Now where's Blue? Blue should be coming soon. You can see him rebuilding his army over there. So Spartans, are you prepared to die? I mean, you are, but let, let's make them die, right? We gotta get back to our flag to make sure it's not being taken. On me, gentlemen, on me. So F is being taken, which was where we just were. I guess we could have held it, but my gold rate was kind of going down and I'd rather keep my army alive instead of having to... But look at that, look at the Spartan helmets. Some of them have like, I call it the feathers, but I'm sure there's a more official name for what's on top of their helmets. They've got like those breastplates and they're looking pretty, pretty beefy. Yeah, Spartans, needless to say, are extremely expensive, but I'm I'm at a significant advantage over my enemies at the moment. Oh, there's blue. Spartans! I forget in the movie 300, like there's so many good quotes from that. Spartans, what is your profession? Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. All right, wait a minute. You're Alexander the Great. <laughs> Imposter! All right, so let's see. Spartans, I'm gonna kind of just be an observer here. See, you'll notice they they, they hit slower. Oh, we got a standard bearer point, so let's get more damage. Are we winning this? I think so. Yeah, definitely. The limit is reached and reinforcements have arrived. All right, so that was blue. 
That means green's gonna be next. We're still at the stalemate, but we're winning in points. And Alexander the Great is really loving his new Spartan Ooh. hoplites. In order to have a critical battle here and take massive advantage, we need green and blue to fight each other and in so doing, destroy each other, we walk in, crush the victor, which I think is actually, it might be happening right now, and take the flag. Yeah, they're definitely fighting. Jay is being taken. Jay's being contested by blue. All right, then that means we have to take this and hurry back to Charlie. All right, come on. I'm fairly certain they're going to be marching on Charlie. Nope. <laughs> All right, this is what we wanted. This is what we've trained for. Oh yeah, they're fighting not on the flag. If I could take them both out. Oh God, they're getting reinforcements right here. So this is gonna be tough. Green's coming in, okay. Blue's pretty much wiped out then. We just got an upgrade point, so I'm gonna get damage. Take that guy out, all right. Now we've taken that one. Do we press the advantage here? Oh, there's Green's army. How good do we do in the narrow confines? Oh! <laughs> take that, general! <laughs> <laughs> Noob. So here's the question, right? We got spearmen. What unit do we want next? I want archers, but I don't know how practical that is. Get him. Take him out, boys. F is being taken. So we need to hurry back to Charlie, not lose that, because I think F is the Senate house. But we have a significant advantage in team points. Oh, and we have so much gold. All right, we're going to go back to the base camp and upgrade. Do some massive, massive upgrades, which really should push us over the edge in terms of the advantages we have over our opponents. So what do we want? Health per second or flag capture speed? Capturing flags is, I feel like, more important. And we'll buy some Spartans to refill our numbers. I call them Spartans, but you know, hoplites. They, they look very much Spartan-esque, especially if we could get some nice lambdas for Lacedaemon on them. All right, boys. Alexander the Imposter wants some. Oh, green's going right behind him and taking the flag. I wish you would have seen that and fought that. Instead of sending your pitiful army of swordsmen up against the elite. Spartan hoplites here. Let's see. We haven't lost a man yet. Did we lose anybody? Oh my god We just wiped that army without losing anybody and our flag has a healing aura now I wish you could kind of see it like that would be a nice that'd be some constructive criticism or rather a, like a, an, an update I'd love is like maybe like some green Pluses or hearts now Vercingetorix now. I it looks like he has spears. So who wins this battle? We've lost two soldiers they, Those could be their militia for all I know some spearmen militia and some swordsmen like look at that We lost five soldiers in that battle. That was a full strength army now. Were they elite soldiers? No, look at that a pile of bodies. So that was green So blue should be back in a moment. So we should be able to hit this up real quick Is it much faster? You can see his army there. I'm waiting. Yeah. Do wait. Nope. This gets in gravy. They're coming over here. But the narrow streets are perfect for hoplites. Are they coming over here? Aha! Now, yeah, they look like they just have militia. Militia spearmen and maybe a few swordsmen in that group. We'll blow the uh, horn there, which gives our men a boost. And we're holding them. Oh, God. Look at who's coming right behind him. That is Vasingatorix, the Gallic Barbarians. We'll get our reinforcements out. We took out the imposter. We're getting our reinforcements. Holding the line, wiping out two armies. This would not otherwise be available. Green's retaking J. All right, let's upgrade again. Let's get missiles. That way we can throw a volley. Give them a volley. And we'll give these guys a volley. Wait a minute. Did they capture it and run? That's weird. This music is epic. Yeah, my net worth compared to those of my enemies now is, is massive. All right. <laughs> I'll throw a spear. Shoot. <laughs> I think I grazed his cheek. How many men did we lose? None. Oh my God, that was awesome. All right, Jay's being taken. We'll contest that. We'll start having more direct fights now. Now that we have the elite soldiers, I'm not really using my missile upgrade, am I? I gotta make sure they can't get reinforcements. There's been a lot of upgrades here to where even I think they'll move out of the way for my, when I throw my spear, the, the standard bear doesn't just chill in my way. All right, what do we see? Gather intelligence, a very small army, but F is being retaken by blue. I'm gonna go and smack him, and then I'm gonna try to wipe one of these guys out. Throw spears! Uh-oh. Ow. I am Alexander the Great! You can't hit me! Wow dominated we'll get our reinforcements here we'll get an upgrade in the term of another missile so we have what two volleys give them a volley and whoever's taking this which is a very small army is gonna die he's getting his reinforcements here we'll fight in front of it and i'll throw my spears as i as i slowly move to contest hey their flag oh we got him in the shield 
There we go. We go to wipe out green. On this map, I haven't been able to do that before, and that is my goal. Where's green? Where is green? Jay's being retaken. Is that the... Did he just spawn back up there? See, this is the part where it's like, I don't really know. And we'll upgrade everything that we can. Oh, look at that. See, he's got like three guys. As long as we don't lose Charlie, I think. Yep, they're taking Charlie right now, but it'll be a small force. It should be. Although we've left blue alone. Yeah, that's a, a sizable army. But they didn't take the flag, so they can't call in reinforcements. Throw spears in their faces. Got another standard bearer point. All damage, all the time. I guess what I could do is hire some defenders. At this point, three or four defenders might just be able to hold most of these armies. I would very much love to wipe one of these armies out, at the very least. But unfortunately, only having 25 units, I'd rather keep them all in my army with me. Hello, V, with your beautiful mustache. Oh. Ow. Help me, gentlemen! Protect your leader! Let's just see what happens. We're so far ahead, we might as well knock out green and then, then just pick a, a fight with blue. So last time I went down that way and they pinched that one behind me. Aha! We went the right way. So we've taken that one? Yeah, so this will be green's last flag. And the general spawns with one of his retainers here. Aha! We've crushed them! We're going for total domination with the new Spearman unit. All right, so they've taken DEF. He's holding his triangle, but I'm holding mine and greens. Aha, he's here. All right, Spartans versus those guys, who wins? Oh, I think I speared my own guy. Spartans! Wait, he just said Spartans, didn't he? All right, so this is the critical battle with Blue's main army. After this, it'll just be mop-up duty, and I want to do it within the 30-minute time frame. Um, let's get standard respawn time, standard horn duration, standard horn cooldown, hero respawn time. We almost have all of the upgrades, and there's only two flags left. Hey, that's cute. That's a big army you got there. I've got, I've got Spartans. Come on, boys. Let's win this one total vic- I'm at Delta? Go okay, so there is one over here. So we gotta intercept him before he takes this flag or else he can spawn in more soldiers this way. Once we defeat him, it's that last flag. That's cute. Alexander the Fake. Ow. Ow. Alexander the Fake. Why are you being such a- There we go. Get him, boys. Hey. Take a spear to the head, huh? And we'll go into this little, you know- courtyard area and we shall secure a most glorious victory oh get out of my face alexander the fake yes oh my gosh look at that so i feel like when we upgraded our spearmen things really started to change and especially near the end there until we took supreme victory now the upgrades it looks like they got to swordsmen oh someone did get spearmen do certain units get their spearmen before their swordsmen? Or how does that work? Or do they have elite ones? Let's check. I choose Vesingatorix here. Ah, so spearmen is 200, but their noble guard for the Germanic tribes here is 250. So that's a sword guy. So that's kind of cool. And now for Rome, we can get spearmen and then we can get legionaries. Okay. So that's interesting how the Greeks, the mid-tier units after the militia is a swordsman and your spearmen are elite, but for the Germans and the Romans, your elite unit is a swordsman. I kind of like that. So they're not just a perfect mirror of each other. There's actually some variation and differentiation between the factions, but I'm kind of curious what units you guys would like to see next. Cavalry, archers, siege equipment, a lot of possibilities. So thanks for watching another episode of Shield Wall. Let me know if you want to see more and I'll see you guys in the next one.